Want to stop eclampsia before it ever becomes an emergency? I'm a qualified vet nurse and breed a mentor and prevention is everything in my nursery. Here's what I do for every nursing girl. Step 1. Feed a balanced, high quality diet through late pregnancy and lactation. Step 2. Keep her constantly supervised in the first few weeks. Step 3. Have a liquid calcium with vitamin D supplement ready to go if it's needed. In my experience, the danger window for eclampsia often opens around day 2-3 to three after whelping, when colostrum becomes transitional milk. That's a huge metabolic shift. Mum's body suddenly has to move massive amounts of calcium into milk production and sometimes she just can't keep up. But eclampsia can strike at any time during lactation, especially again at 2-3 to three weeks when she's at peak lactation. That's why I stay alert right through the entire nursing period and not just the first few days. At the first sign of symptoms, I give a loading dose of oral liquid calcium. If it's true hypercalcemia or eclampsia, I usually see improvement within 20 to 30 minutes. If not, I'm straight on the phone to the vet. If that dose works, I repeat every 3 to 4 hours to keep her stable. If it fails, straight to the vet, no hesitation. I'm not a vet, just a very experienced whelper, and this protocol has worked for me many times, keeping girls safe and out of emergency care. Rosa, the Polish lowland sheepdog female featured in this series, avoided an emergency vet visit. But, and I can't emphasise this enough, if you're ever in doubt, always, always consult your vet. The calcium I use is Pernacol Caldi. It's fast absorbing, easy to dose, and it's available in my shop. It's what I personally trust in my nursery. Remember, supervise throughout the whole lactation period. Stay prepared to keep your girls safe. Follow for more real-world breeder protocols that actually work.